Hello viewers, and welcome to Zoo Troop TV. Today we are exploring an exciting pirate legend. The ancient wreck of a famous pirate ship called the Narwhal. What's a Narwhal, Bradley? Well, Anxious, the Narwhal is a fabulous and unique creature. It's a type of whale that lives in the icy waters of the Arctic seas, and it's known as the Unicorn of the Sea because it has a long horn on its head. Wow, Bradley. I'd love to meet one of them, although it looks a bit spiky. Not as spiky as my pirate cutlass, though. So what happened to the good ship Narwhal then, Bradley? Well, Polly, the story goes like this. It was 250 years ago to the day, and it was a very stormy night in Spaniard's Cove. The Narwhal had not long set sail. The ship had been through many storms before, but it never hit such a big storm as this. The waves crashed onto the deck, and the pirates tried to turn the ship around and head back to the shore, but they were out of luck. The legend says that the ship was so full of treasure that it was too heavy to make it. It sank that stormy night with all that treasure on board. And that's the legend of the Narwhal. Gosh, Bradley. That's an amazing story. Has the shipwreck been seen since? No, Polly, it hasn't. So all that treasure is still at the bottom of the sea. Gold and diamonds and pretty jewels. Mm, yes, Polly, but let's not forget the Narwhal was one of the biggest pirate ships ever to sail the seas. It was an awesome sight, and I guess today it's home to many fish and sea creatures. Yes, Bradley. I can't wait to find out more. Well, you will soon. Ned and Rory are at Spaniard's Cove right now. But before we talk to them, let's get a weather check from our very own Ray of Sunshine, Anxious. Oh, thanks, Bradley. I'm wearing this eye patch in honor of finding the pirate ship Narwhal. Now, let's see what the weather will be like, me arties. <laughs> Thankfully, there are no storms today. <laughs> oh, Greedy, what are you doing? Whoa, I can't see! Yo ho ho! And a bowl full of bananas! <laughs> <laughs> Greedy, the patch should only be over one eye. <laughs> Shiver me timbers, Greedy. I don't think you make a very good pirate. Uh, oh, Greedy. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yes. It will be fine weather for Rory and Ned. In fact, it may even be a little too hot as the sun comes overhead. It's ice cream and shorts weather today. Hello, Anxious. This is Rory calling in from Spaniard's Cove. Tell us what's happening there. Well, we're in the Zoo Troop boat, and we're about to try to locate the wreck of the pirate ship Narwhal. Aren't we, Ned? Er, uh, Ned. Yeah, sorry, Rory. Um, had to finish this. It was melting so fast. Hmm, let's find that ship. Hi, viewers. This is where the sunken pirate ship Narwhal is to be found. Now the wreck has been located just over there, and Ned and I will be heading out to film the wreck in just a short while. But before we do that, we want to show you something unusual that is happening in the water. Ned, can you point the camera over there, please? Yep, hold on. As you can see, on the surface of the water, just above where the wreck has been located, there is a dolphin and baby whale swimming in circles. This is not normal behavior, and we are not yet sure what all that's about. But rest assured, we will find out. Oh, do you think they're okay, Bradley? They look like they're trying to tell us something. I don't think so, Polly. But it is very unusual to see a baby whale without its mother. Well, Ned and Rory are heading that way, so I'm sure they'll keep us informed with up-to-the-minute reports. Now, as we're on the pirate theme, we have a few mails coming through from viewers with pirate jokes. So, Polly, can you read this one? And I'll do this one. OK. This is from Crosby the Caterpillar in Durham. What did the dentist say to the pirate? <laughs> Open wide and say, Ah! Oh, not bad, Crosby. 
but mine's better. Joe the Kingfisher writes, What did the pirate say when his wooden leg got stuck in the freezer? Shiver me timbers! <laughs> Shiver me timbers! Oh, what a good one! Keep your pirate jokes coming in, viewers. We will send out some Zoo Troop info packs to the best ones. But now, back to Spaniard's Cove, where I believe Ned and Rory are about to dive. Wow! They are so beautiful! Yes, they are. But it's still odd how they are swimming in circles. I suspect something is going on under the water, and that's why they are swimming over the same spot. We are going to take a closer look. Great! Does that mean we're going in? Sure does. Let's get ourselves equipped for the dive. We need our wetsuits and air tanks and our underwater camera, depth compass and pressure watch, diving knife, and of course, our underwater communication units. These allow us to talk to each other while we are down there. Let's take a sonar scan, Rory, to see what might be under the sea. Good idea, Ned. This is our super ocean scanner. It sweeps across the seabed and tells us if there are any big objects down there. Well, there's the wreck as clear as day. Ned, are you getting this? Yes, Rory. I can see the scan. But what's that on the right? I'm not sure, Ned. It could be where the wreck broke in two. We'll check it out when we die. The scan shows that the wreck isn't too far down, which is good news, but it is lying very close to the edge of a very deep trench, where the seabed drops away to a depth of over one mile. It's a good thing that the ship didn't sink there, or it would never have been found. Okay, Rory, can you hear me? Testing, one, two, three. I hear you loud and clear, Ned. Synchronize watches. Check valves. Okay, let's go. Hey, they look a little nervous. Yes, I think we'd better dive and take a look under the water. Okay, Ned. Is the camera running? Yes, Rory. It's all set. Okay, then. Let's dive. Wow, I think I can make out the pirate ship. Yes, there she is, Ned. Hey, look, you can still see the figurehead on the front of the ship, Rory. Wow, it really is the long lost narwhal pirate ship. Yes, it's quite a sight. I hope our viewers are getting these shots back home. And look, the dolphin and the whale are watching too. Come on, let's swim towards the captain's cabin. Look, Ned, there it is. Have you got your power light ready? Yes, here you are, Rory. Wow, look at all the treasure. Viewers, this is indeed the famous pirate ship, the Narwhal. And here we are now amongst the captain's quarters. You can see the treasure all around me. In fact, so much treasure, it almost lights up the cabin. Hey, Rory, what's that old book on the desk? I think it might be the captain's log. It looks more like a book to me, Rory. No, Ned. The captain's log is what we call a ship's diary. The last entry in it may shed some light on the legend. Let's have a look. Gosh, this narwhal is really, really heavy. It must be solid gold. Okay, I've got it. The captain's last entry is here, Rory. Look, it says Spaniards Cove, the 13th of August, 1735. It has been a good old day. We took the town by surprise, so we did. Those lime lovers didn't stand a chance. <laughs> we looted the mayor's hall of all its lovely booty. The mates are a proud crew indeed. Discovered a cave full of doubloons, we did. And chest after chest of silver, all for the taking. Swiped enough barrels of rum to keep those hardies happy for months. We are loaded to the gunwales, we are. The ship is heavy and haven, and the lads are as merry as sand turtles on a full moon night. Just then, it happened. 
came from nowhere, she did. The mightiest storm you'll ever see in all the oh. seven seas. Hey, boss. Starboard! Starboard! All hands ahoy! Square the mainsail! Lower the rigging! Aye, aye. Swing us through, lads! Or we'll all be sleeping on the seabed with the fishes tonight, so we will. The ship's too heavy in the water, Captain. She'll never make it to port. Well, it seems that the legend must have been right after all. The ship was too heavy for rough seas with all this treasure on board. Yes, and I don't think the crew were in such a fit state either. It's the dolphin again. I think he wants to show us something. Come on, let's follow him. Wow, what's this? I'm not sure, Rory. Is it an old harbor wall? I don't think so, Ned. Look, it's moving. Whoa, it's a gigantic whale, Rory. Yes, and look, Ned, it's caught in the ship's rigging. We need to free it somehow. The struggling whale is pulling the wreck net. And look, it's heading towards the edge of the ravine. Yes, if the whale pulls the ship into that deep trench, they will both disappear forever. Let's try and cut through the rope and see if we can help free her. Oh, oh, oh. oh it's no use, Rory. The rope is too thick for our knives to cut through. You're right, Ned. We need help, and we need it fast. Let's get back to the surface and talk to Bradley. We are receiving you loud and clear, Rory. Viewers, we are bringing you a real-life animal rescue mission as it happens. Oh, Rory! Ned, is that poor whale in danger? Yes, and that's why the dolphin and baby whale were swimming in circles. The mother is tangled up and trapped, and we must cut the rigging ropes before it's too late. She is trying to wriggle free, but it's only pulling the ship closer towards the ravine. Then there's no time to lose. This is a job for Zoo Troop. Rory, I have an idea. You two get back down to the narwhal wreck and find anything to help free that whale. We are on our way to help you now. Zoo Troop, let's go! Oh, oh. There are too many to cut, and the whale is only tightening the ropes around her and getting closer to the edge of that ravine. Have you found anything that might help, Ned? I haven't, but I think our new friends have. Look! I think they're here to help out. That's just what we need. An underwater army. Only the main brace is left now, but it's too thick for the swordfish to cut, and the ship is dangerously close to the edge. Oh no! We're gonna need a miracle now! What on earth is that? Are the pirates coming to help us? Hooray! It's the Zoo Troop Super Submersible, and just in time! Attention, Rory and Ned! I'm going to use the Super Submersible Crabber Grabbers to try and cut the whale free! Hurry, Bradley! The ship is about to go over the edge! Phew! That was hard work! It's going to take at least five minutes to cut the last few ropes! I don't think we have five minutes, Bradley. The narwhal could go over at any moment. What are we going to do, Bradley? Hmm. We need to buy some more time. Submersible to Zoo Troop Boat. This is Bradley. Calling Anxious. Over. This is Anxious speaking. Go ahead, Bradley. We're receiving you loud and clear. Anxious, we need more time. We have to stop the narwhal from falling into the ravine. Are you directly over our position? Yes, Bradley. We are right above you. Good. Then I need you to drop the anchor straight away. Okay, Bradley. We'll do it now. Aye, aye, Captain. Anchors away! Ned, Rory, we need you to attack 
catch the anchor to the novel, and quickly. There's not a moment to lose. Okay, Bradley. Bradley. I hate to let all that treasure disappear again, but the zoo troop boat is in danger. Rory, can you and Ned cut the line? Sure thing, Bradley. Look out, everyone! Whoa! 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 That was a really close escape. Yeah, no one will ever find the narwhal again. And all that treasure! But the important thing was to free the whale, and that's what we did, thanks to a little help from our marine friends here, and a super sub. Well done, Zoo Troop. Another successful mission. Let's surface everyone and see the mother rejoin the baby whale. everyone. That really was an amazing rescue mission. Oh, it was so exciting. That poor baby whale and the mother. Oh, I need to sit down. It was so beautiful down there, Anxious. All those colorful fish dancing amongst the coral, the sunlight streaming into the warm ocean. Mind, Polly. Our mission is finished now, so we can all relax. I'm so proud of the Zoo Troop rescue today, and along with our marine friends, we really did make a winning team. It's just a shame that the narwhal really is lost forever now. And all that fabulous treasure, too. Well, actually, not quite all of it is lost. What do you mean, Ned? I did manage to save one piece of pirate treasure. <laughs> it looks like the narwhal lives on. <laughs> well, I certainly won't forget it in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Greedy. <laughs> Ha 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 ha! 